What's your name anyway? It doesn't matter what your name is! Hello, my name is uh, Fum and Shoe, and no sooner than I made my last video, well, I think it was my last, I don't know, I live in a time machine, leave me alone. But anyways, one of my videos recently, I talked about the Megalopolis City of Collectibles, and guess what? I just got another package from them in the mail, and I, you know what? I think I'll review it. So today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be direct from Megalopolis, and check out the toy overlord overseeing his city. Or at least he thinks it's his city. It, it probably isn't his city. And if I haven't sang the praises of these boxes enough, man, I love them. These boxes are amazing, and I love all the artwork on them. So let's go inside this building here and see what we got inside this box. So, after cutting the tape that seals the box shut, and like I said, I love how their tape has all their little pictures all over it. That is awesome. So let's look inside this box, shall we? And opening up the second purple flap. Oh, look at that! Oh, a little toy overlord squishy just attacked me. Whoa, he jumped up quick, man. He's ready to fight. Anyways, check him out. Yeah, that is awesome. And if you look here, this is how the packages come. And as you can see, their tissue paper has their little megalopolis pictures all over them. And that is awesome indeed. You get this little brochure thing or whatever, a little flyer. I don't know what that's called. A little paper thing right there. And if you look right behind there, you'll see a little sticker poking out. So let's move this out of the way, shall we? Once it's moved, you find a giant megalopolis sticker and an Toy Overlord Approved sticker. And those are awesome, man. I'm going to have those stuck all over my time machine. That is awesome. Now, looking behind them, you can see that their tissue paper has the Megalopolis symbol printed all over it. That is so awesome. And another thing that makes this really cool is, once you move the tissue paper, you'll see that not only is this box overrun with packing peanuts, and I believe this is the first time I've ever gotten packing peanuts from these guys, you'll see that they're, they're a bubble wrap is actually in the Toy Overlord purple color. That is awesome! So let's pull this out and check out what's inside, shall we? Now, the reason I'm making this video and the fact that I'm showing that this order came direct from Megalopolis is because what's inside this bubble wrap, I got for free. Now, the way I got it for free was is I cashed in some of my rewards points. Now, I've never done that before and I thought, I wonder how that works. So I thought I would try it out on a smaller item and you know what? This was free, shipping included, everything. That is awesome. Now, on the Megalopolis website, this figure goes for $17.99, or you can cash in 360 rewards points and get it for free. Now, it's going to be a little bit more than that rewards points wise, because just like the $17.99, you've got to add shipping. Now, you can use rewards points to pay for shipping, and that's what I did. So, I got this figure for free. Plus, I haven't seen this figure reviewed yet, so I say we remove this bubble wrap and see what it is, shall we? Today's review will be on the Hasbro Star Wars, and although it doesn't say it, this is from the Solo movie. Force Link 2.0, Chewbacca, Mimban, Han Solo, Mimban. Wait a minute, they wore the same costume. Oh no, at the same party. Oh, and it's all muddy. Check that out, that is awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen these on the peg before, and when I saw that these became available, I was like, oh, I want one of those. And that's what I decided to use some of my points on, and this is awesome. And I absolutely love this picture of Muddy Han and Chewie. That is so cool. Now, looking at the figures through the bubble, and man, I like what I see. Now, these are some basic Star Wars figures. They don't have a lot of articulation and stuff like that, but the sculpts alone make me happy, and that's what it's all about. These look very cool indeed. Now, as you can see, they're both very muddy, and it looks like they come with, like, a cannon or something you can put together. Now, instead of that cannon, I wish it would have just included Han's helmet. That would have been cool. Maybe a metal chain or something to put them both together. Because as you can see, they've got like plastic chains or something like that. That would have been cool. Because the chain was pretty long in the movie. But yeah, I do wish it had Han's helmet. Now, he probably wasn't wearing it in this scene. But, you know, hey, if you get this muddy Han and put that helmet on him, you've got him from the earlier scene too. And that is cool. Now, looking at the package from behind, and you've got a little uh, demonstration of the Force Link 2.0, and then you've got Chewie with the big cannon there, and that's pretty cool indeed. You can actually see the little chain there, you know, on his ankle, and that's cool, and then Chewie's got one too. So that's pretty awesome. Now, I haven't updated my Force Link 2.0, so I can't, like, 
you know, make it play and show you what these guys say. So sorry about that because you have to download an app, an app or something. I don't know what you have to do, but you have to make it work. And mine's still in demonstration mode or something because it won't work yet. But that's okay. I'll get it to work eventually. Let's go back to the front of the package, shall we? Because when I saw that these figures were available, I had to have them. They just look so cool indeed. And like I said, nobody's reviewed them yet. So I say we check them out and see how good they are. What do you say? So, after sliding the tray out of the package, you get a better view of the figures and their accessories there. Very cool indeed. You can definitely see the height difference between Han and Chewie a lot better once the package is removed. That is so cool. Now, one of the things that I noticed after removing the little bubble from the tray is the mud, especially on Han. I can see it on his armor. There's like two or three different shades of gray or whatever. That is cool. I thought it would just be the same flat gray or something, so that's very neat, especially on his armor on his chest. It almost looks very wet and stuff that is cool now besides this little tray here with the figures and stuff inside you also get this little uh, brochure here so let's open this up and see what's inside it now on one side it shows you how to put the cannon together and how to make it fire and on the opposite side it just shows you how to use the force link 2.0 but if you already have that you already have the instructions so let's look at the figures shall we now, first up, we have a very muddy, old and Ehrenreich Han Solo, and check this out. That chain around his leg is awesome, and if you look there, it almost looks like it could come off. So, yeah, we'll look at that a little closer up in a second. But, yeah, this figure is pretty cool indeed. Like I said, the only thing I wish it had was that helmet. I just wish you had the option to put his helmet on, because, man, he looked like that for some of the movie. That would be so cool indeed. But anyways, this one looks really cool, and just getting him in this outfit makes me very happy. So let's flip the figure around and check him out from behind. So, here's the figure from behind, and what do you know? More mud. Man, this guy is a muddy. But you know what? This is cool, and I absolutely love it. And one of the things I really love about this figure is the fact that not only is he muddy, but they actually gave him a whole new head sculpt, so his hair looks all wet and stuff too, so that's cool. They could have just slapped on the generic, you know, Han Solo head, and that would have worked, but you know what? They made a whole new one, and that is cool. Yeah, I absolutely love this figure. Let's move on to Chewie. Because not only is this Chewie just as muddy as Han Solo is, man, this is going to take a lot of combing and conditioner to get all this mud out of his hair. But you know what? This Chewie is also, I believe, the first time we've ever received a, a naked Chewie figure. Holy crap, Chewie, put on a bandolier or something, buddy. But you know what? This is so cool, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, not only you know was the Han's you know, head sculpt a new sculpt, but this is a whole new sculpt for Chewie, and that is cool because he doesn't have the bandolier on and stuff like that. He doesn't have notches where it used to go. This is cool. They made him look all shaggy looking, and I absolutely love it. Now, looking at Chewie from behind, you can see all the different colors there, the different browns and grays and stuff. That is cool. Yeah, they could have just slapped on one color, and it would have worked. But you know what? They didn't. They actually put on a lot of paint on these figures, and I absolutely love that. And at least you can say they're doing that. I mean, we don't have the articulation that we were getting there at the end of when Star Wars figures were really, really cool because they were turning into little super articulated works of art that, you know, looked exactly like the actors and everything. I mean, these are like cheaper versions of those, of course, but hey, you know, you get what you can get, and this is all that's out there right now, and I'm still happy with it. Now, as for accessories, although I really wish Han Solo would have included his helmet, I mean, have I mentioned that enough? But anyways, Han did come with a uh, Stormtrooper gun, that's pretty cool, and they came with this giant cannon here that's in three pieces. Now, looking at the barrel of it, I really thought when I looked at the instructions that it would have like a firing missile or something like that, because if you look there at that second picture right here, it looks like, you know, a little arrow, but no, it's just putting on the armor over the gun, so, oh well, I thought for sure it would have like a firing thing, but you know what? That's okay. Makes it more screen accurate. So let's put it together, uh, shall we? So, here's the cannon all put together, and I'd say that looks pretty good indeed. Now, that little, like, armor plating thing that goes over the front of it... Now, on the instructions, it shows it sliding into place, and there's a little slot that it's supposed to snap into. Well, although it does slide into place, it doesn't really snap into position. So let's see here. See? It's, it's really loose, so... Yeah, I... Okay, look, I'm shooting. Pew, pew, pew. So unless that cannon is supposed to fall all apart when you touch it and stuff like that, I would recommend gluing it, but I don't know. 
One of the things I really like is the fact that the way it's sculpted with Chewbacca there, that actually looks like it's natural and he's shooting it. That is cool. I wonder what he's thinking in his head as he's shooting. Whoa, 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 okay, Chewie, okay, we get the idea. Okay, let's look at these figures up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close up look and starting with Chewbacca and check out all that matted, muddy hair and whoa, don't want to go too low, he is naked after all. So let's work our way up here to his face and check that out. Yep, that's Chewbacca. Now mine does have a little bit of smudges there around his nose and it looks like he's crying out of his left eye, but that's okay because you can't see that with the naked eye. But look at all the different colors there, the different grays and the browns and stuff, that is awesome. Because like I said, they could have just used one shade of gray and said, look, he's muddy, but no. They actually put a lot of paint on this figure. And look at the circles around his eyes. That is cool, too. Yeah, I think they did pretty cool with this one. And like I said, I love the sculpt. That is so neat. Now, as you can see, he doesn't have his bandolier. And that is cool, indeed. Very, very neat, indeed. And working our way down his arm here. And you can see the hair hanging off of his arm. You can see they actually painted his fingertips, too. That is cool. And then down here, you've got his muddy leg. And that is very awesome. You can see the chain there. There And now, they should have just given you a metal chain. You know, that would have been really cool. But, yeah, I get it. And it's a toy. Whatever. But you can see, too, that they painted his little monkey feet there. That is so cool, indeed. Now, with the chain, I believe you can actually remove it. Because when you flip the figure around, you can see there that it just snaps into a little hole there. So, yeah, you can take that off if you want. So, you can pretend they escaped and ran away. And that is cool. Although, I think they still had the chains on at that time. This is before they took a bath together. So anyways, you can see there, you got the uh, different sculpting. And look, naked Chewbacca butt. And that's pretty awesome, working our way up here. I do wish this figure had more articulation. I mean, this figure would be very cool if they just gave him a lot of articulation. But, oh well, they just don't make figures like that. And if they do, they call them Black Series and pretend that they're special or something. But they should just make, you know, one muddy Chewbacca figure, not 13. <laughs> I mean, seriously, there shouldn't be, like... 47 different Chewbacca's to choose from. I mean, he looks the same in every scene. But you know what? That's okay. I still like this one a lot. Now, moving on to Han Solo, and you can see there that his armor isn't just armor. It's all, like, pitted-looking and muddy-looking. That is awesome. So they sculpted it to look like it's got drips and splatters and stuff. That is so cool. And if you look carefully, you can see the different shades on his armor. That is so cool indeed. Working our way up to his face, and yeah, I'd say he looks pretty muddy. That is cool. I love the mud around his mouth and chin there. That is so cool. See his eyes and his eyebrows. Now, his eyes and eyebrows look kind of funky looking, but that's just the way they're painted. I mean, it could look more like Alden Ehrenreich, but hey, this doesn't look that bad when you look at it with the naked eye. And as you can see, his hair's all matted down to his head, too, and that is cool. Turning the figure to the side to get a better view of his hair here, you can see how it's all like combed back and stuff. He's got long sideburns and that looks awesome. And yeah, I'd say that looks like Alden Ehrenreich. It's just, I wish his eyebrows were a little bit better. His eyes, he almost looks oriental or something like that. But that's okay. Still looks good to me. But you know what? That is cool. The mud effect is really good. They did a great job there. And like I said, I love the fact that they actually sculpted his armor to look like it's muddy and lumpy looking and stuff. Look, even his clothes. That is so cool. It's got that little, like, texture and stuff. Very awesome. Now, working our way down to his legs, you can see his belt there, the little imperial belt, and that's cool. You got his, uh, whatever, the ends of his shirt and stuff right there. Got the muddy-looking legs and boots. That is awesome. Yeah, they did a great job with the mud on this figure. Very cool. Now, looking at his little leg brace or manacle, or whatever it's called, but you know what? That is awesome. You can see there that his is on his opposite leg, and that is very cool. you got the chain there. Very awesome indeed. And like I said, same with Chewbacca. It looks like this one can be popped off as well. Although, like I say, I don't know why you would, because I think he had this through the entire scene. So, hey, I think it looks cool on him. Now, looking at him from behind here, you can see his butt and everything's all muddy, too. You can see the chunks just hanging off of his... Uh, his uh, coat and stuff, his backpack, man, look at that, that is so cool. Yeah, I think they did a great job on the sculpt of this figure. Like I said with Chewbacca, I just wish it had more articulation, because that would make it perfect. Oh, and a helmet, too. Have I said that I wanted a helmet? Now, as for Han's blaster, you can see it's got all the usual sculpting and stuff like that. That looks pretty awesome indeed. No paint applications, it's just, I think it's just molded in black. It might be painted black, I don't know, but it's just black. And here's the huge put-it-together-yourself cannon, and that is very cool indeed. Now, it doesn't look like this uh, This has any, like, paint on it. It's all sculpted in this weird kind of metallic 
silvery plastic or whatever. It could have, you know, like, you can see some battle damage right there. Those could have been painted silver, but that's okay. It doesn't really need it because it's kind of uh, reflective or metallic or whatever, so that's okay. But, yeah, it's just an accessory they threw in. Like I said, I could have thought of another accessory, <coughs> a helmet. But you know what? This isn't bad at all, and it's a neat little thing. And I don't remember it in the scene. I don't remember if they ran to grab guns to shoot everybody. I knew they pulled that pole down inside of the, the hole they were in, but I don't remember them shooting a cannon, but maybe they did. But I've only seen the movie once, so what do I know? But I have to say, figure-wise, I am very happy with this set. And honestly, it's not a set that you need, you know, if you're not a completist or anything like that, or if you're not a fan of this movie. But honestly, it is the scene where he met Chewbacca, and that's pretty awesome. And not only do I love that, but I love the fact that they made these guys look muddy. That is awesome. So, there's my review of the Hasbro Solo, a Star Wars story, Force Link 2.0, Chewbacca and Han Solo on Mimban, or as I like to call it, the Muddy Mud Planet of Mud, Tupac! Where is it? Oh, it's down there because they're so little. But you know what? They are awesome, and selling them as a two-pack like this was the way to go because this is so cool indeed. Now, like I said, do I have any complaints? Yeah, it's that Han Solo doesn't include his helmet, but that's okay. I mean, seriously, maybe he wasn't even wearing it in this scene. I don't think he was, but still, if you had that helmet, you could use him in different scenes. You just take off the chain on his leg, but that's okay. That is still cool, and I highly recommend it. Plus, these figures actually talk if you have your uh, Force Link 2.0 all updated, which I don't. So, they'll talk too, and that is awesome. Now, I have to say, thank you, Megalopolis, for having the rewards thing that you have up, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to have this figure set, and that is awesome. And honestly, all of you out there, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're going to buy some toys, go to Megalopolis. Go. They're over, th they're over there. But you know what? Seriously, go to them, order from them, and then when you get some rewards points, you can use it on anything you want. Now, I chose these figures down here, but you know what? You could choose anything you want as long as you have enough points to use them, and that is awesome. So thank you, Megalopolis. This was a cool figure set to get. And you know what? Do me a favor. Please tell the toy overlord to stop sneaking into my house and, and stealing my toys. I thought I was the only one who did that. <sighs> Anyways, until next time, tune in for more. Foo! Reviews! <laughs>